Questions of Unit 3 are all review from Algebra 1. That's the great news. The bad news for 3-5 is it's a lot of information. It's a lot of review. I feel like you guys can take the challenge, though. So are you ready? Challenge accepted. No. Great, let's do it. So first of all, we have slope. And if you remember, slope is denoted with an M. It's also called rise over run, or the change in Y and the change of X. And remember, sometimes we denote that with a uh, triangle, the delta, delta Y, delta X, or Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. So let's find the slope here. So this is X1, Y1, X2, Y2. So 4 minus 6 over negative 3 minus 4. 4 minus 6 is negative 2. 3 negative 3 minus 4 is negative 7. So our slope there would be 2 over 7. And that is our slope. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right, moving on. Like I said, a lot of information here. You guys know this by now. Slope intercept form. Y equals mx plus b. M is the slope, B is the y-intercept, also known as our starting point, right? Our initial value. Those are all important things, all important words to remember. All right. And remember, when we have different types of slope that would go in here, if it's a positive slope, if M is positive, the line is always going to go up and to the right. All right. If M is negative, it's a negative slope. That means it's always going to go down and to the right. If we just have the equation Y equals a number, no X. All right. There's no X in this variable. In other words, there's no slope. It's a zero slope. And that's going to be a horizontal line going left to right. So if it was Y equals 2, this would be Y equals 2 here. 1, 2. If I have x equals a number, where it's just x equals some number, it's a vertical line. It's an undefined slope. Remember, you can't do that because it'll be divided by 0. It'll be some number like uh, 1 divided by 0, and you can't divide by 0, so it'll be undefined. So that's uh, what you should be thinking about remembering all that fun stuff. All right, so let's graph some of these. Now, I, I put in the videos, if you need help, you know, there's all, all more descriptive in these sections on the algebra site. So if you can't remember how to do this and you need extra help and I, oh, I'm just too going too fast for you because, it's, you know, I'm going fast because it's review. If you need help, go to these sections. All right. Uh, don't be proud. Just do it. So here we go. Y equals MX plus B. My M and my B. My B is 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. My, B, my M is negative 2 over 1, so I go down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1, and there's my line. Remember, I, ooh, I try to make three points if possible <laughs> to keep it straight, but, you know. X is 6, so I go to X is 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and X is always 6. X is never anything else, so that is an undefined line, vertical line at 6. Okay, that's graphing lines. And now in the same exact section, we're going to do the opposite. We're going to write the equations of the line. So remember, the form that you really need is y equals mx plus b. And again, I know this is quick, so if you need extra help, go to 6.2. So write the equation of the line is slope 5. So instead of m, I'm going to put 5. Instead of my intercept, instead of b, I'm going to put negative 3. Now that one's not so hard because it gives you the y-intercept and it gives you the slope. But let's move down here. It's, it's not that easy, but we do it the same way. I have my y equals mx plus b. Now in this situation, what do I have? I have an x, I have a y, and I have an m. So I don't have a b, so I'm going to plug everything I know in. So y is 6, m is negative 2, x is negative 3, and b is we don't know. So negative 2 times negative 3 is 6. So 6 equals 6 plus b. Subtract 6 and then we get b is 0. So now I can plug in my b and my m. 
y equals negative 2x plus 0. Well, I don't need to write plus 0, so I'm just going to leave it as y equals negative 2x. All right, again, I know that that's pretty quick. If you need more help on this, go to 6.2. There's a lot more video there. All right, um, write the equations of these lines. So sometimes it's going to give you a graph. Well, what, we, where do we meet on the graph? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So my intercept is negative 6. So y equals something x minus 6. What's my slope? Well, I need to find two points. I got one, and it looks like here's another one. Remember, points are where it crosses these grid lines, okay? Yes, that's a point, but it doesn't cross at a grid line. It's not going to help us out. So my slope is down one over one, two, three. Down one over three. So my equation is y equals negative one-third x minus six. All right, let's take a look at this next one. Does it tell us the slope? No. Does it tell us the um, intercept? No. So we need to find those things. We have an x1, we have a y1. We have an x2, we have a y2. So we can find the slope. 8 minus 1, 4 minus negative 3. 8 minus 1 is 7. 4 minus 3, or 4 minus negative 3 is 7. 7 over 7 is 1. So our m is 7. And remember our equation, y equals mx plus b. All right, so uh, we can do either one of these. I'll use the first one. So my y is 1, my m is 1, my x is negative 3 plus b. 1 equals 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. Opposite of minus 3 is plus 3. So my b is 4. All right, so now I have my m, I have my b, I can plug it in. y equals 1x plus 4. Remember, if it's a 1 in, as a coefficient, we don't necessarily need to write that. All right. All right, so pause the video, you try these two, and then we'll check on them. All right, great, so here we go. So my m is negative 3 halves, my slope is negative 3 halves, my intercept is 1, so I'm going to start at 1. Down 3, 1, 2, 3, over 2. Down 3, over 2. And we're going to try and draw this line. It's, that's not too bad. All right. Now we're going to write the equation of the line. So do I have a slope? No. So I have x1, y1, x2, y2. So 1, excuse me, 4, minus 1. 0 minus 4. 4 minus 1 is 3 over negative 4. So that's our slope. Do I have a y-intercept? Uh, technically, I do. Because remember, y-intercept is when x is 0. That's our y-intercept. Now, let's pretend we didn't know that 4 was our b. Let's just pretend that because some of you don't naturally see that. So we can still do it the long way. y equals mx plus b. Plug it in. What's my y? I'll use these. 1 was my slope. Negative 3 fourths times x was 4 plus b. Negative 3 fourths times 4, well, that's negative 3. So y equals negative 3 plus b. Add 3, so 4 equals b. So there you have it. They are the same. So plug it in. y equals negative 3 fourths x plus 4. Boom. All right. Again, if you're not sure about all that, if I was just a little too fast for your liking, I, I understand. I did it fast because it's all review. All right. But sometimes, you know, that's not good. Go back, watch those other videos. Maybe it'll, it'll help you out. Or maybe you still have your notes from Algebra 1. Take a look at those, uh, those notes. It'll help you out. Good luck on the mastery check. Man, I did not get this slope-intercept form. I wish somebody would help me.